Day, makers of better products for happier living, presents your show of shows. Crosley sets the pace. In refrigerators, the 1951 Shelvador with carefree automatic defrosting. In electric ranges with completely automatic cooking. In home and farm freezers. In complete electric kitchens. In radios with color styling and tone engineering. In television receivers with full room vision. Yes, the pace setting designs are coming from Crosley. This is your show of shows, and here I am again, your hostess for this evening, Marsha Hunt. As every woman knows, there are a million ways to get a man. There are also a good many ways to scare a man off. This young girl, in a shooting gallery at a carnival, discovers that you can't shoot your way into romance. Miss Imogene Coker finds you can't get a man with a gun.
testing, Wilbur does it the hard way. Crosley has the answer. The new 1951 Shelvador, the world's most convenient refrigerator. Crosley's new carefree automatic defrosting system gives you new luxury, new freedom from messy old-fashioned defrosting methods. And in addition, you get all the wonderful features of Shelvador design. Plenty of room for ice cubes and frozen foods. Shelves fully recessed in the door give you more space at the convenience level. You'll love Shelvador's new soft glow interior, too. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of your show of shows, Sid Caesar. Thank you very much. You know, there are certain instincts in a man which drive him to get ahead. He wants to get ahead, and one of the big ways in getting ahead is to ask the boss for that big raise. The big raise, that's it, huh? Ah! But I'd like to show you the husband who's, gonna, who's getting ahead now. From the time he leaves his wife in the morning up to the time he actually walks in his boss's office and asks for the raise. Here he is. Honey, don't worry. Today is the day I'm going to ask him. I'm telling you, I'm going to ask him. Listen, I know. Listen, I'm telling you. I, uh, I'll ask him. I'm telling you. I won't forget anything. Believe me. I won't. I'll tell him that. I'll, 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 I'll tell him that. <laughs> I'll tell him that. And I'll, I'll, I'll remember, I'll tell him that. I'll no, you tell him that. No, no, I'll tell him, I'll tell him that. <laughs> Don't worry. Look, I've, I've been putting this off day after day, <laughs> week after week now, you know, just till I get the words, you know, the right words to say it. And in 20 years, I got it. That's it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I mean, I'm no, no dumbbell. It's all right, honey. Come home with the raise. Come home with the raise. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just... Walk into the office and say, <laughs> just tell him I want to raise, after all. <laughs> what could he do to me? <laughs> He's a human being. I think, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't want to be late today. Today I got to be on time, boy. Right. Well, there's the bus down there. Got plenty of time. <sighs> yeah, just... I'll just go up to the... Uh, I mean, after all, what, what, what is he? What is he? <laughs> What, what is he to me? What, what can he do? <laughs> who is he? <laughs> it's silly to be afraid. After all, who is he? Anyway, <laughs> he's the boss. That's who. <laughs> uh, he's the boss. <laughs> Take away his railroads and what has he got, huh? <laughs> Oil well, steamship line. <laughs> Well, listen, I'll just, just go up to him and I'll ask him for the raise. After all, the company's doing pretty good. They built a new building last year, $17 million. <laughs> Made a profit last year, $50 million. <laughs> Got in reserve, $200 million. <laughs> yes, sir, the time is just about right now for me to hit him for that $5 raise. <laughs> I'll get him. Sure. Here comes the bus. Right on time, fine. I'll just hit him for the file out of raise. Just, what was that? Change? Oh. No, you ain't got no change. Here, change this file out of raise, will you? No, no, no. <laughs> Just change, change the dollar bill, will you? Thanks. Thank you, huh? Okay. <coughs> so, uh, just talk to him straight forward. That's the way you gotta talk. So I just walked up, I'll say. Mr. Joplin? I've been working here for 20 years. In the 20 years I worked here, I worked. And I worked like a worker who was worked 20 years. In the place of the worker. And I've been here for 20 years working for you. And I was here when the place started. And I watched it grow. And it grew. And I watched it. And you, for me, well, I, I think I should have, well, I think you should. You should give me a ray. No, he'd never do it. No. <laughs> station is this? Oh, no, it's not mine. I get the next stop. Nah. Ah, you gotta be, you gotta be smart with a guy like this. After all, he's a pretty smart guy. Gotta use psychology on him. He's smart. And after all, uh, where did he get those millions? You didn't get those millions like that, you know. <laughs> it was left to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. 
about? It'll be straightforward, really, Sean. The, who's the man? Walk in, I'll say. Mr. Yapman? <laughs> With a boss, huh? Yeah? yeah. I want care, yeah? Yeah. You? You know me, yeah? Yeah. I know you, yeah? Yeah. I think I deserve a rap. No. <laughs> I do now. Oh, this is my station. Excuse me. Pardon me. I got time. I'll walk to the office. Nah, you can't do that. You can't push him and shove him into it. Got to use the sympathetic approach. That's it. I use the sympathetic approach on him. I'll, I'll walk in his office like this. I'll, I'll walk in. I'll say. <laughs> Sir, I haven't eaten in three days. <laughs> I've had a lot of expenses home. My kid went crazy in a candy shop. <laughs> the whole house is full of jelly beans. I gotta pay for that, sir. And on top of that, my wife went and did a very foolish thing. She paid the rent. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a baby. I haven't told my wife about it yet. I'm afraid to. You know the expense and all that. So I was thinking, sir, if you could find it in your heart to give me a ray. No, he wouldn't do it. Well, here's the door. No more kidding around? This is it. Huh? No, come on, do it. Go ahead. No, 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 keep your arrows. Uh, uh, you, you're a human being? No, 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 you're not, you're not a human being. Uh, listen, I work here 20 years. You, yeah, 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 no, you shoot. I, me, you're not, yeah. Whoa, boy, you not, ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'll get it out anyway. This is what I came to say, Mr. Jaffin. Now, I might as well say it. Uh, when do you want your coffee? <laughs> now, I'll get it. <laughs> from one of the most famous and colorful of Johann Strauss's operettas, the colorful Gypsy Baron, sung by Marguerite Piazza, Bill Hayes, and Jack Russell, assisted by the ballet company and choral group, and conducted by Charles Sanford. <laughs>
hope I'm not intruding. No. You're a stranger here. I've never seen you before. Yes, I'm a wandering musician. I've traveled all over the country, and your singing attracted me. An orphan since my early days, I've traveled far in many ways. For years and years I've had to roam, an exile from my native home. There is no trade I have not tried, no job for which I've not applied. I've been a painter and a farmer, a clown and serpent charmer. But my favorite occupation is roaming with no destination. is giving a big party tonight. Will you come? I'll be glad to. The gypsies will sing and play.
was filled with wonderful sounds tonight. Yes, the breeze was in the trees and birds were singing. Oh, sang our song, well who? Well who? The nightingale. Yes, the nightingale sang our song. for you at the palace. I'll be there. Gypsy Baron by Johann Strauss. of television, Crosley Ultra Fidelity TV with family theater screen, cabinets styled to match the beauty of your home, wide angle viewing screen to avoid furniture shifting. You see clear, undistorted pictures from any viewing angle. Crosley brings you sharp, steady pictures, full, rich tone. There's simplified control, built-in antenna, everything to provide the finest television entertainment for the whole family. Be with us next week at the same time for your show of shows.
Every home needs an extra radio or two, and Crosley has them in lovely colors for every room, portables for outdoor use, and this one, designed especially for the kitchen. just over visiting my old friend, the kingfish, and he's having his troubles again. You see, about 20 years ago, he bought this piece of land up in the country just outside of New York City. He figured that maybe someday the city would spread in that direction and he'd make a lot of money. Well, all this time has passed and he's still stuck with the lot. And when I left the kingfish just a little while ago, Sapphire was calling that matter to his attention. After 20 years, Sapphire, I'd think you'd forget a thing like this. I still say you should have known New York City would never spread to your lot. But how did I know the lot was in New Jersey? What I took for the delta of the Hudson River turned out to be McGinty's Creek. Look, George, you're not a real estate man. You're not a businessman. And you don't know anything about investment. Oh, is that so? You see this head here of mine? Well, there's a lot of ideas growing in this head. Well, if what's growing on the top is any sign of what's growing inside, it must be pretty bad. You know, George, I wouldn't feel so bad about it. But this is one of the things you said would bring us security in our old age. Well, honey, there's still hope. Outside of the $50 we got from that movie company when they used the lot as a location for a picture, this lot has been a dead loss to us. I still see that valuable property. And someday, they're going to develop that whole era with new homes. You wait and see. As I was saying, George, we were counting on this lot for security. And I don't know what we're ever going to be able to do with it. Well, uh, honey, maybe we can sell it. Well, you bought it, George. You sell it. Hi, Kingfish. Hi, Calhoun. Ooh, what we got here? Well, Calhoun, uh, years ago, I bought a lot up the country for a thousand dollars, and it didn't pan out. So I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get my money back. Wow. A thousand dollars. Now, don't let that fool you, Calhoun. A couple of years ago, there was a motion picture company making a picture.